So here let's talk about uh, some different ways to build with our Lego WeDo motor, this guy right here. Um, first, we can talk about exactly how to use it. Um, so Lego WeDo motor, as we talked about in another snippet, has this little attachment port. And we take the Lego USB brick and plug the attachment port right in on top, just like any other Lego brick. Um, now, we're going to go over here, take the USB cord and plug it in to the computer. This is what the WeDo uh, software looks like. Uh, we talk about it more in different snippets about programming, but real quick stuff for using the motor. Um, this object right here, motor this way, will turn your motor when you turn it on. And this is the play button, which you put in front of any program to make it play. And when we press play, it runs our motor. And this red square down here will stop the program. So this is a real quick way to get your motor to start moving. Um, let's start with this simple build here. Um, this here is my chassis. Um, just made some simple bricks. Um, but what I did to attach the motor is I ran out these bricks across the bottom, which give it the necessary space. Don't forget to account for the roundness of the motor. If you look at the side, it comes out a bit from where it attaches, so you have to leave a space for that. Um, I used gears to transfer over from here to the general motion. Um, the gears, you know, this could even be a peg down. They could be exactly lined up or off a little bit. The contact doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be solid. You can see here that when this spins, the gear always spins. So we're good there. Um, also, on this side, you notice I've used the pulley and elastic. When you're transferring over large gaps, this geometry can be hard to bridge with gears or just annoying to bridge with gears. Uh, it's much simpler to use the pulley. One thing to note is that when the gears are spinning, the shafts spin in opposite directions. But if you're using a pulley, these two shafts are going to spin in the same direction. See, if I play this by using the program, this shaft is spinning this way, but both of these shafts are spinning in the same direction, just like a car. Let's talk about constructing vertically with WeDo. The problem with Lego bricks in that matter is you need a lot of bricks to stack up as high as you'd like to go. There are some alternative ways to get around this. Um, what I recommend in this case is make yourself a sturdy little Lego wall, easy to assemble. Run out some more bricks out of the back. Plug it in right here. There we go. And we can set it upright. And now we get motion in these directions. An alternative way to get motion in different directions would be to use crown gears. We discussed crown gears more extensively in another snippet, but we'll just show you them in combination with a motor here. As you can see, this motor is going to spin. It's going to spin the crown gear, and we'll get motion in both of these directions. So again, we just plug the motor onto the brick, press play, and voila. Uh, note that crown gears are a little less robust sometimes, so it's good to really reinforce them, as we've done here. Also, you'll note that sometimes with the 24 tooth gear, it's lower than the bottom of the Lego we do motor. So the problem is you have to elevate the motor a little bit or else you're going to get the 24 tooth gear brushing against whatever your ground surface is. If you use the 8 tooth gear, this isn't a problem, but you sometimes have to use the 24 tooth gear for space considerations or if you're trying to gear up or gear down. Um, Otherwise, investigate the possibilities with these bricks. It's very easy to construct and deconstruct with Legos, so go crazy.